I used to go on a lot of road trips. My family moved from California to Missouri when I was in high school and I started driving back out west a couple times a year as soon as I got my driver's license. But by far the longest of those adventures came during my senior year of college. My best friend turned 21 on December 10th, 2009, and because most of my finals were more papers and exams, I didn't have to stay during like actual finals period, so I was able to leave DC on the 7th or 8th. I think it was like late night on the 7th. I started out my cross-country journey taking a slightly longer than necessary route so that I could drive by a particular steak and shake in Atlanta and send a picture to my internship friend. A friend in Monroe, Louisiana let me take a nap while she was at work and then we got dinner and I got back on the road again. I was pretty short on cash during this trip. I wasn't gonna get paid until Friday, so I think I was charging everything to a credit card, which is like super smart life decisions. But also at some point, either right before I left or at the very beginning of the trip, I started running a bit of a fever. I had nobody else to stop with between Monroe and Los Angeles, and I didn't really have any money, so I figured that the only thing that I could afford in the way of rest was like truck stop rest. So mostly I chose to just keep driving through the fever. Normally one of my favorite things about driving south and west is the fact that the mile markers go down. There's just such an enormous sense of achievement as you approach and clear each state line. Texas, however, breaks this. Texas crushes your soul. Texas goes on forever and ever, and when you have a fever and already think that you're kind of dying, you start to wonder if maybe this really will be the last thing you experience in this world mile after unending mile of Texas. I think this is the only time that I've actually like done the straight across Texas thing. I have, however, done the stretch of I-40 from Oklahoma City to Barstow more times than I feel like counting. So I know those exits well, I have a pretty good sense of where I am all the time, but I did not have that on this road trip. It made me a little bit more uneasy about actually stopping to rest when I needed to and kind of made the whole thing that much more overwhelming. Somewhere near the Texas-Arizona state line, I stopped at what I thought was a fairly nice new looking gas station, except that it was completely deserted, which was kind of weird. I took a little nap and at some point I decided I was ready to go. So I backed up to a pump to fill up, but like, almost immediately after I backed up, I was like, nope, wait, just kidding, I'm not actually ready. And I napped again, but like at the pump. I should say that yes, I hear myself telling this story and I realize that like, I was a hazard to everyone. Anyway, at some point someone knocked on my window and it was a cop uh, because my behavior was shifty as fuck. He checked all my information and it was kind of nerve wracking, but after successfully convincing him that I was mostly just a stupid college girl, uh, he explained to me that I was also in a kind of dangerous, questionable place. Basically this particular stretch of the 10 where I was is very, very close to the US-Mexico border and also not really near any major cities. So basically it's border crossing territory. We looked at my map together and he recommended that I go north before taking any additional naps and also offered to like radio to some other cop to have him keep an eye out for me. But something about that exchange was really, I don't know, unsettling to me. So I ignored his probably wise advice. Eventually I made it out to California and I stopped at a Starbucks near my best friend's house and called her to wish her a happy birthday because also, this whole trip was a surprise. On top of everything else, I didn't really have anybody waiting up for me on the other end. So that was another really smart life choice that I made. But in spite of all the places along the line that this could have been not the case, uh, in the end, all was well. And I made it, I showed up at her door with some surprise birthday coffee and a surprise birthday hug. Uh, and then I fell into her bed dead to the world while she went to work. Aside from the fact that this is indeed my longest road trip and the correct answer to the prompt that Twitter gave me. This is also kind of a timely story because that same best friend just had a baby shower that I was unable to attend. Adulthood and its corresponding responsibilities and uh, financial realities has meant that sometimes I kind of got to find other ways to show up for the people that I care about. The Avengers are not dead, they just necessitate a little bit more planning. Got him. Got him. Nailed it.